What is project integration management? Project integration management involves coordinating all elements of a project, including tasks, resources, stakeholders, and deliverables. The purpose of project integration management is to identify, define, combine, and coordinate various processes and project activities within the project management process groups. Integration management activities. Following are examples of the activities that are performed by the project management team. Develop, review, analyze, and understand the scope. Transform the collected project information into a project management plan using a structured approach. Perform activities to produce project deliverables. Measure and monitor the project's progress and take appropriate action to meet project objectives. Overview of integration management processes. For any new project, the first thing is the development of project charter. This document authorizes project managers to start the work. After this, the following integration management processes come into an action. First process. Project management plan is developed, which is the most document. It guides you about everything that is going to happen on the project. Second process. After the planning is done, next process is the direct and manage project execution. This process is the execution of the project plan, which ensures that everyone is doing what they should be doing. Third process. Next is monitor and control project work. You, as a good project manager, constantly monitor every single thing that goes on in the project. Fourth process. Perform integrated change control is the process when a problem is found. You have to work with stakeholders to identify how to deal with them. Note. Finding a problem later is harder and more expensive to fix. Fifth process. Finally, you close project or phase. Make sure you document everything, especially the lessons you and your team have learned along the way. Ames is a globally recognized and an accredited institution. We offer certifications, diploma, MBA, and PhD programs in project management through an online and self-paced learning system. For registration and details, please visit www.ames.education. First process. Develop project management plan. It is the process of defining, preparing, and coordinating all subsidiary plans and integrating them into a comprehensive project management plan. Key benefit. It is a central document that defines the basis of all project work. Here are the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs of this process. Second process. Direct and manage project work. This process allows you to lead the team and perform the work according to the project management plan, and also implement the approved changes to achieve the project objectives. Key benefits. This process provides overall management of the project work. Project work activities. The activities under the direct and manage project work process include the following. Create project deliverables to meet the planned project work. Provide, train, and manage the project team members. Obtain, manage, and use all the resources. Implement the planned methods and standards. Establish and manage all project communication channels. Generate work performance data related to cost, schedule, quality, and technical side. Manage risks and implement risk response activities. Manage sellers and suppliers. Manage stakeholders and their engagement. Collect and document lessons learned. And, implement approved process improvement activities. Reviewing and implementing project changes. No matter how great you did in the develop project management plan process, it is natural to have requests, changes, and variances during the project lifecycle. In order to perfect your project, direct and manage project work process is used to review the impact of proposed project changes and implement the approved changes. For this purpose, the following actions and activities are used. Corrective action. 
This activity realigns the performance of the project work with the project management plan. Preventive action. This activity ensures that the future performance of the project work is aligned with the project management plan. Defect repair. An intentional activity to modify a non-conforming product or product component. Here are the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs of this process. Third process. Monitor and control project work. It is the process of tracking, reviewing, and reporting the progress of the project, in order to meet the performance objectives. Note. The work being done in the previous process, is tracked and reviewed here, to see if project performance is meeting the project management plan. Key benefits. This process allows stakeholders to understand the following. Current state of the project. Steps taken. And, forecasts for budget, schedule, and scope. Functions of the monitor and control project work process. Here are the key functions of this process. Compares actual project performance against the project management plan. Assesses performance to decide if any corrective or preventive actions are needed. Analyzes, tracks, and monitors project risk. Maintains an accurate and timely information on the project's deliverables. Provides cost and schedule forecasts. And monitors the implementation of approved changes. Here are the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs of the monitor and control project work process. Fourth process. Perform integrated change control. It is the process of reviewing all change requests, approving changes and managing changes to deliverables, project documents, and the project management plan, and communicating the decisions. Key benefits. During this process, the effects of proposed changes can be determined before changing the project objectives or plans, which reduces the possible risks. This allows project managers to make better decisions. Functions of the Perform Integrated Change Control Process Here are the key functions of this process. Influence factors that circumvent change control processes. Review and analyze change requests. Maintain the integrity of the project baselines. Promptly review and analyze corrective and preventive actions. Incorporate approved changes into the project management plan and other project documents. Coordinate and manage changes across the project. Document requested changes and their impacts. Requirements for change. There are two core requirements for change. Number one. All change requests must be submitted in writing to clarify the change. Number two. All change requests must come through the formal change control system. No one can directly ask the project team to make some changes. Change Control Board A change control board or change review board is established to review all change requests. The board members meet regularly to consider changes to the project and authorize to approve or deny change requests. Change control board member may include Managers Stakeholders project team members, customers, and relevant experts. Six steps for integrated change control. Here are six steps you can use to implement an integrated change control process within your organization. Number one, create a project management plan. Number two, create a log of the change request. Number three, analyze the impact of the change. Number 4. Decide on a course of action. Number 5. Communicate the decision. Number 6. Update the project management plan. Fifth process. Close project or phase. It is the last phase of the project life cycle. This process finalizes all activities across all of the project management process groups to formally complete the project or phase. Key benefit. During this process, project or phase information is archived, the planned work is completed, 
and organizational team resources are released to pursue new endeavors. Key activities at this stage. Following key activities and functions are performed at the close project or phase process. Project records are gathered, and information is disseminated to formalize the acceptance of product, service, or result. Project management processes are analyzed to determine their effectiveness. Project documents are archived for historical reference. Types of project endings. There are four formal types of project endings. Extinction. Addition. Integration. And, starvation. Extinction. Project termination by extinction is when a project is stopped due to either its successful or unsuccessful conclusion. Addition. It is a type of project ending, where the project evolves into an ongoing operation. Integration. In this type of project ending, financial or human resources assigned to the project are diverted or reassigned elsewhere in the organization. Starvation. In this type of project ending, financial or human resources are cut off from the project. Post-implementation audits. The post-implementation audit is an evaluation of the project's goals and objectives. They examine the project from beginning to end, and look at what went right, and what went wrong. They also examine the project processes, to determine possible improvements on future projects.